Hello, YouTube. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hectic, hectic schedule. Kids, work, all that stuff. You know the drill. Anyway, uh, it's Thursday before Easter. I checked out at work around midday, and I'm at this beautiful, iconic spot in the middle of Stockholm, Hagakulen. It's uh, it's one of the places that um, that's rideable earliest in the season, and uh, it's one of the places that everybody comes to to just bang out a few laps and kind of get back into riding again. There's a few jumps. There's some really nice, um, like twisty, windy, switchbacky trails. Um, and it's, it's just a great place to, to get back into the swing of things. God, I love e-bikes. Just the ability to bang out lap after lap and keep your focus on the important stuff, like not dying while you're riding. The forecast for today said uh, that it was gonna be raining. And I mean, uh, sure, there are some clouds somewhere. And I probably will tonight, but I am pleasantly surprised. I'd do something slightly slower and techy until I kind of build up the speed. Back side of the hill. There's a tricky route going into this section and it always kind of catches me out here. And here you need to be on your game. I'm almost endo turning here. Going on this one because it's wide enough that you got to skid. Never managed to get that without a skid. And this just launches you oh, I'm in the wrong gear that just launches you a mac chicken ah. and then there's a stump you gotta watch out for and more roots and then this you can hop over that's a good warm up sit up do one more so another reason why I need to be doing more laps is uh, I'm, I'm a masochist and I turned 40 this year, which means I have to come up with something to uh, light a fire up under my ass and keep my will to live alive. So if you follow the channel, I uh, did something called the Megavalanche, which is a mass start downhill race or enduro-ish I'd call it race in France. A few years ago, I did it twice in 2015 and 2017. But then uh, I had all the time to train and all the energy in the world. Now, however, I have two kids, a full-time job, no time to train, and uh, let's just say coffee running through my veins. This is the classic frontside trail. I don't know what I'll be doing then towards the bottom, but let's see. Ooh, she's getting slippy. Gotta hit the right side of these uh, rocks. Otherwise you get sent. Or well, you're not meant to be sent. Whoa! Uh, that almost made me go down. I love how smooth this bike is over stuff. Because it's heavy. And I just kind of. Ah, flattens everything out. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit that. But I will hit this. And then I'll go down here. Whoop. Very butt heavy landing. What even is the McGowan Lash? It's a mass start downhill race with climbs. So don't show up there with a, with a downhill bike. You need a dropper, you need a full range cassette. And by mass start, I mean, in the uh, qualies, 150 people are starting at a time. In the uh, main start, about 300 line up. I mean, 300 people is a lot of people. First of all, you gotta nail the snow section. Oh yeah, there's there's snow. You're starting on Pic Blanc at 3,300 meters. You need to bomb that as efficiently as you can. Try not fall. I mean, this is a black ski slope. And all of that with a whole bunch of people around you basically just waiting for a crash to happen. I mean, none of this is super technical, but it all gets very technical with that many people around you. And, uh, well, at that altitude, because there's just, if you've ridden at that altitude, you will know how little oxygen there is there and how much you're basically redlining right from the start. Okay, let's hit a little short and sweet switchbacky run. 
Yup. I always go into this quite hot. Whoa. Whoa. So much heavy braking down here. My rear end is skidding along. Should I go here? Yeah, let's do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. And then here, and then here, try to avoid all the uh, commuters. So after the snow on the Megavalanche track, you have a rather long section of just upper alpine terrain. Lots of sharp rocks that can catch you out. You better have some really, really tough downhill tires because you'll need them. After that, there's an open kind of meadowy section. This is where the fitness comes in because by the time you get there, you are so completely done. Your legs are streaming because you've been doing a constant squat for about 20 minutes. So the uh, meadow section is where people get past. Now, after that, there is a climb. This is where all the uh, spectators hang out, where they throw water at you to cool you off. And then just as you crest the top of that hill, there's a beautiful bike park you descend. I, I don't even want to know what my pulse was last time I did that race at that particular point. If you haven't realized how masochistic all this sounds, let me just remind you, it is really masochistic. Oh. Oh, this fucking place. It is a definition of masochism, but also it's so worth it because I mean, once you complete that race, you realize that your body's got just so much more to give if you push it hard enough. And I mean, it's a, it's a tough, tough mental game because you need to be restrictive in the beginning of the week and then just give it all you got for the quality so that you qualify in a good enough spot so that you get a good enough spot on the start line because you don't want to be all the way back. That's really the definitive mountain bike race. It's got the mental aspect of it. It's got a huge physical aspect of it. Uh, yeah, you do have bike shops and stuff over there that can fix your bike, but you better not break it because there are about 3,000 bikers on that hill and uh, everybody needs parts. It's been said before, but if you really want to call yourself a mountain biker, do this race. The McAvalanche in Alduez, it is the mountain bike race. So I feel like that top switchback section really does deserve another pass. It really is like skiing. I mean, you come into it, you do your braking, you set up high, little tap of the brake, just to get around, lift your rear end up, smack, and you're on your merry way. Now if I can do that three times in a row, or four, whatever it is, four times in a row, that would be great. Let's head out and try it. Setting up for this turn. Yep. Now for this one. And set up high. Nice. Get over that. Set up high again. Yep. And on the brakes. Slide into this. And we're good. I always get something to right over here. I don't know why. Need to clear that section up as well. I'm starting to get tired already. Whoop. All right. And that's going to be it for today's portion of trail riding. Let's go have some fun with the jumps. Let me do that long and low over there. That one. That's gonna be enough speed. Whoop. That was even long. Yep. That is such a fun jump. One footer maybe? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Whoop. That wasn't a good one footer. Let's go. Oh, pinch release. Okay. 
and this almost 40 year old still got it. Whew. So that was the last run of the day. Yeah, that was a good day all in all. It's getting darker, it's getting colder. I need to head home, get in the shower, eat something, chill for a little while. And yeah, the avalanche training, I wouldn't call it on track, but it's getting there. I mean, if I have the energy, I have both the speed and the confidence, I'm getting back. Oh yeah. All right, if you like this kind of content, like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. All right, peace.